Hi, this is Steve again, um, live in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, wish, like to wish everybody out there uh, season's greetings and happy holidays. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a floral sleigh centerpiece for the center of your table. Um, and for getting started, I'm going to tell you all the materials you're going to need. And for starts, okay, you will need an artist marker, fine detailing marker. You're going to need a half a yard of lace, white lace. You're going to need a strand of fiber optics, which you can pick up at any hobby store or floral supply store. You're going to need three singlet roses of white and two bunches of poinsettias. I picked up the velvet brand. Uh, you're going to need Spanish moss. You're also going to need a can of semi-high gloss indoor-outdoor enamel paint red. You're going to need a floral foam block for supporting of the flowers. A paintbrush to apply the paints on. A very hard bonding glue, crafter's glue preferably. This is one shoe box. Now out of the craftsman's tools, you're going to need a handsaw. One drill. half inch plank board, and this is, happens to be a four and a half foot by half inch thick plank board. This is the thinnest grade of plywood. Um, this is a four foot sheet by three and a half feet. It's the thinnest plywood board. Now for starts. We're going to draw the sleigh. You're going to need the shoe box to mark locator points. And as you can see, I put four dashes, one here, one here, the length of the shoe box. So that lets me know that when I go to drill the detail of the sleigh of how much room I can work with because this will be the back and the front and the bottom of the sleigh.
always make sure that you draw your picture using the pre-cut sides and bottoms so that whatever the craft is that you're making will sit flush with the floor or the table that you're going to set it on. This way it won't be a choppy cut and you know it's cut precise and your whatever your craft is that you're displaying will not wobble. This will be my first pattern. Um, I'm also going to cut this one out and make a duplicate. I'm going to make two of these, one for each side. 